Start keeping the laws because let me ask you, you know about the Sabbath day, right? Saturday. Did you keep it? Then you know when you keep the Sabbath day, you must uh, 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 congregate because it's a holy convocation, right? It's Zephaniah 2 and 1. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So God instructs, instructs us to gather together because we are a nation not desired. Nobody desires us. Nobody is going to look out for our benefits. But guess what? Your own people, the Israelites, we will. We will look out That's for right. you. We will right. teach you the commandments. Right. We will help you, you know, get right in this walk. We will help you to, uh, to be saved when the time of Christ, when he returns. That's what nobody else is out here out there doing. That's right. So read again. Zephaniah chapter two verse one. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So now the Bible instructs us to uh, to gather together, right? Now. Uh, are you able to get dresses? Right? So, what must you do now? Start wearing dresses. Because what's the judgment for our sisters that's still in pants? Well, what's the judgment of Christ's return? What will he do? Zephaniah 1 and 8. Watch this. Watch. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the, the princes and the king's children. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is when Christ makes his second return. You are the king's children. You are his princesses, right? Read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. The strange apparel is what uh, you're going against or what he said in Deuteronomy 22 and 5 because he said that the women shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man, right? So if our women wear pants, they're in strange apparel. So the prophecy was when Christ returns, he will punish women in pants. He will punish men in dresses. Right. Give me Leviticus 13. Leviticus chapter 13 verse 29. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head or the beard, then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in the sight, he put in the skin, and there be in it a, a yellow thin hair. What color was that? A yellow thin hair. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So, sister, what does God say about our women wearing blonde hair? Bring it out. Read again. Then the priest, then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin, and there be upon it a yellow thin hair, uh -huh. then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. 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 Like because. But what about the people with long hair? Like albinos. Then they can't. That's nothing they can do about it. But if you purposely, you know what I'm saying, changing the texture of your hair, it's unclean. It's because guess what? It all stems back uh, uh, from self-hatred. Read again. Right, the bleaching of the skin. Because guess what? The scripture says that God is the first author of beauty. How did he make our hair? He made it woolly. 
You made in the right. image of God. Right. So why change that image? That's right. right. It's like we were taught to make it like it, it was. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31 Envy thou not the oppressor And choose none of his ways The scripture says envy not the oppressor Who's oppressing us? The white men, right? So, what is the white women? What kind of hair do they have? String blonde hair, right? Most of them, most of them are blind, most are rare, but guess what? Our sisters following that still. That's unclean. So why is it that you believe white men Who's oppressing us? Who put us in slavery? Nope. It's simple. <laughs> Who put us in slavery? Let me know. Okay. Hold on, but answer that. Who put us in slavery though? Because you asked, why do you think that the white man is they, oppressing us? They put us in slavery, or why do we need to allow ourselves back in the day to be How question. did that come about? Okay. So where we automatically became slaves? Like Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Good question. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, First, Moses talking to the Israelites, right? He said, it will come to pass if wait, wait, you don't wait, wait. listen to God. Can you explain who the Israelites are first the, the, and then take it there? The Israelites are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Yes, read on. It, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, he said if we don't keep God's commandments, right, that all these curses will overcome us and overtake us. Jump to verse 68, get straight to the point. 68, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Let me ask y'all, when he said the Lord shall bring us into Egypt again, right, what did he mean? Slavery, right? Because the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. He, all he's doing is reminding them of the condition that they were in. Yeah, when Moses led the people out of Egypt, well, exactly what right. were they slaves for? They were slaves what under was Pharaoh. White man, though. What was Pharaoh? Pharaoh, he was an Egyptian. Dark man, a dark man, a black man. He was an Egyptian. And he's the one that had the slaves captive. Like, he the one that had us captive in okay, Egypt. And he was dark. Yes. So he's, he wasn't a white man. But, oh. but listen, but listen, listen. Who had us enslaved now? Okay, but now, but it's like... Okay. Answer that. Now? <laughs> no, it's just... I'm trying to... What I'm trying to say... Here's your answer, sister. Here's your answer. I know exactly what you said. It's not just a white man. It's not just yeah, a white yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's not just them. Watch this. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Verse 1, keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies make thy what? Thine enemy enemies, meaning it's more than one, right? We watch, watch, hold on, hold on, watch, 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 wait, wait a second, wait. make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So you got people that hate God, it's nations that hate God, right? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. These nations or these enemies of God have taken crafty counsel against the 12 tribes of Israel, which That's are the right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's it. right. And consulted against thy hidden one. Thy hidden one is you. You're the hidden one. But we don't know who we are. We don't. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So these nations of people, our enemies, not it's more than one. They came together and said, we're going to cut these people off. We're going to change their nationality. We're going to split them up with languages. We're going to divide them by shipping them to different parts of the country. Right. Read on. Different religions. Right. Read. The name, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So that we wouldn't know that we are the Israelites. All these nations came together and they did that to us. Now we're going to name the nations. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against us. They are all against us. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom in the Bible are the Edomites. The so-called white man is Esau. That's number one. Right. 
and the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are the Arabs. Right, you have Jacob and Esau. Esau is the so-called white man. Jacob will be the 12 tribes of Israel today. So it started off with Esau. Right, the chosen one was Jacob. It started off, the, the first enemy that God named was Esau, which is the white man. The second enemy was who? The Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are the Arabs. That's the second enemy of God. The third enemy? Of Moab. Oh, the Moabites are the, are the Chinese. Sister, listen, don't worry about that. The third, the third uh, um, um, enemy of God is the Chinese, read. And the Hagarines. Africans, sister, 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 come, come over a little bit. Don't worry about that. that that's just saying trying to, like, like you've been doing all night. Read on. Get ball. And Emmett. Emmett is the Japanese. So the point we're making is, it's not just the white man, it's every other nation outside of the tribes of Israel. Those are our, our enemies. The reason why we can pinpoint the white man today is because in this captivity, get that in uh, Ezra, the last captivity. The last captivity that we will be in before Christ's return would be under the white man. That's why we can pinpoint today, okay, the white man is our enemies. But actually, all the other nations are your enemies. Because no other nation will teach you who you are. Right. So are we supposed to hate them? Get, get, uh, hold that, get Sirach 12. Because if there's what I was supposed to do, because I thought we were supposed to love. Right. Right, right, right. That's, that's, love everybody is not in the Bible. What's your name again, sir? Lordy. Love, love everybody is not in the Bible. From the beginning, it's always been separation. Watch this. This is, even though they're your enemies, we're not telling you to, to hate. We didn't, we're not telling nobody to hate nobody. But this is what God says, right? Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust... Never what? Never trust thine enemy. God says, never trust them. It's just like if I gave you a barrel of snakes, a hundred snakes, five snakes in that hundred was venomous. Would you reach your hand down in that? Why? Because if, if when you get bit, that one you get bit may be the venomous, the, uh, the venomous one. God says, never trust your enemy. Not saying you can't laugh with them and joke with them. Hey, how you doing? Sally, how's work? But in the back of your mind, you know you my enemy. They do that to us. I see mother Hey, hey, hey. Read them along. Read them along. Read it again. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. So God says, even though they hate us, even though they are our enemies, you still deal wisely, you use wisdom, and you never trust them. Never trust them, meaning never, uh, oh, we gonna read on, we gonna read on, read on. For as iron rusted, God says, just like iron rusted, you know what iron is, right? Eventually iron gonna do what? Rust, eventually. It can take a month, it can take a week, it can take a year. A day, but eventually it's gonna rust. Meaning, eventually they're gonna show their true colors. Eventually, at the end of the day, they will always choose their people over you. Right. Every time. Right. Every time. No matter. You could be their best friend. At the end of the day, if it's if it's a decision between choosing their people and you, they will always choose their people. That's why God says, never trust your enemy. And those nations are your enemies. That's why the only way that we can come back to God or uh, get that in Baruch, Baruch 4 last verse. There we go. That, I'm glad you asked that. This is this is how you come back. Baruch 4 last verse. That's what I'm on. Yep, that's it. Here it is, sister. The old cop. The book of Baruch chapter 4, verse 37. Lo, thy sons come. Who, whom thou sentest away. Whom thou sentest away was the, the Israelites in slavery, in captivity. God says, now they come back. They come gathered together. Gathered together, one unit. From the east to the west. Throughout the four corners of the earth. By the word of the, by the word of the Holy One. So the only way that we can come back and be a unit and be joined is by the word of God. That's the only way. Boom, there you go. Right. I'm glad you said that. 
which is only, yeah, let's get there, let's get there. I'm glad you said that. You're absolutely right. Because, I'm gonna tell you, sis, the only way that I can look at you and say, that's my sister, let me not try to sleep with her and whore her out, is by reading the law of God. The only way I can see my brother and not see an enemy is by reading the word of God. Right. If we're not keeping the word of God, right. I'm gonna look at you and say, I just wanna hit. I'm gonna look at my brother and say, that's a nigga, I'm gonna kill him for stepping on my shoes. The only way that we gonna change as a people is by keeping the word of God. That's, that's right. It. That's the, this is the missing link in our community. That's right. This is the missing link. This is the glue that will never unstick. Right. Once we get these in our minds, we will be the greatest nation on the earth. Yeah. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.